if you have a malignant melanoma, it's stage three. It was a life altering event hearing those words. Maureen Meehan says she's a lifelong sunscreen user and has always been aware of the dangers of sun exposure. When a mole on her arm began to itch and change shape, she knew she had to take action. So I went to my GP and initially she wasn't as concerned as I was. And I went back to her a few weeks later and I said, you know, I really am concerned about this mole. And she said, okay, well, and she referred me to a tissue specialist. By the time she saw an oncologist, the skin cancer had spread to two lymph nodes under her right arm. So when I was initially diagnosed, 35% of people with my kind of cancer uh, didn't survive after five years. So I was in a very, very lucky position because they got it all with surgery. So I did not have to have chemotherapy or radiation. Now in remission, Mian says people should not be afraid to advocate for themselves and hopes others will learn from her experience. You think it's a mole, you'll go to the doctor and they'll just lop it off. It's not. Don't discount the serious numbers. Dermatologist Dr. Maxwell Sauter says like Mian, about two thirds of all melanomas are identified by patients themselves or their loved ones. Early detection is key, so he suggests doing a thorough full body scan for yourself and family members no more than once a month. If you're checking more frequently than that, you will probably miss something that's changing gradually over time. Doing it consistently in the same manner on the same day, that will allow you to identify things that look different. What you're looking for are what's called the ABCDEs of melanoma that can help you decide if you need to see a doctor. So A is for asymmetry, meaning you cut it in half, it's different on either side. B is for irregular border, so you're looking for jagged edges or finger-like projections. C is for color, black, three or more colors. D is for diameter, anything larger than the end of a pencil or a pen. And then E is the most important point, evolution. So things that are changing dramatically, size, shape, color, symptoms. So let's look at this one right here, okay? Generally speaking, it's symmetrical in one axis. The border is very regular, it's very smooth. I know exactly where it starts and stops. The color is a nice uniform medium brown. The diameter, less than a pencil eraser. And then when I do my exams, I use a tool called a dermatoscope. It allows me to look kind of a couple cell layers beneath the skin. Okay. So when I look at this, it's completely normal. It's great, keep it. Sauter adds that if you have a hundred or more molds, you should get checked by a healthcare provider. And despite her traumatic experience, Mian says she's not opposed to a little time in the sun, but with caution. You have to go outside and enjoy, that's great, but avoid those peak hours, you know. <laughs> Tanning is not a sport. Now, one of the ways you can protect yourself from melanoma is, of course, wearing sunscreen. And we've got more on sun protection and melanoma risk factors on our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.